Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today at the Big Fish free agent signing. Johnny Hockey Goudreau goes to the Columbus Blue Jackets. It was a big day for the Jackets. They started the day off with a very questionable signing bringing in Eric Branson. We'll go over that. And we're also going to talk about Johnny Goudreau and the impact not only he has on the cal on this team moving forward, but the impact of the franchise overall. Like, as soon as he walks into Columbus, this is going to change the perspective of the Columbus Blue Jackets, so we'll take a look at that. So we're going to start off with the lesser news, but it's still pretty big news if you're a Blue Jackets fan. Uh, Eric Goodbranson comes in as a defenseman, and... Signs a four-year deal, $4 million per season. It is a little bit high. I'm going to be completely honest. That is not a great contract. Um, you know, I don't think he's one of those guys that's really, you know, he's making $4 million on either your second or third pair for the Jackets. Um, depends on where you put Bulkfist and, and Andrew Peak. Are they ahead of Good Branson? I would say possibly. And looking according to Daily Faceoff, they have Good Branson as a third pair defenseman. So, I don't know. Not a huge fan of that signing. Again, I understand he's a good shutdown defenseman. It does remind me a little bit of what they lost in David Savard a couple years back. But, um,. There is some questions about his game, so we'll see who he's playing with, whether that's Gavrikov or Jake Bean, um, but that's kind of what we'll figure out during this season. And he was a huge piece of a really good uh, shutdown defensive pair with uh, Nikita Zadorov in Calgary. The two of them, Branson and Zadorov, were extremely good for the Calgary Flames, so uh, one piece of that ends up going to... The Jackets. Now, another Calgary Flame player also went to the Columbus Blue Jackets, and that's obviously the big name on the board, Johnny Goudreau. Johnny Goudreau, it sounded like he was mulling over the, the triumvirate of the Philadelphia Flyers, the New Jersey Devils, and the New York Islanders, and at the end of the day, he ends up going to none of those teams. Uh, I think a lot of those, all three of those teams have messed up somewhere along the way, where Goudreau basically fell on their lap and they just weren't able to get it done. And Columbus isn't a team anybody had as anywhere near a front runner or even a, pers a, prospect a prospective team that he could even go to. But they gave the best offer they could and they end up landing the player. Um, this is huge for the Blue Jackets in so many ways. So the first point I'm going to make is this helps them with Patrick Line. Yes, of course, Line's minutes will be a little bit different now that Goudreau's in there, but they're probably going to be playing on the same line most of the time. And I think, you know, not only the direction of him passing the puck or plus minus is his stats improving with Goudreau next to him, but also some of the focus will be taken off of Patrick Line in the sense that, you know, most teams when they play the Blue Jackets, it's you have to shut down Patrick Line. Except Going into the fall this year, you can't just do that because Johnny Goudreau is there as well. So the Columbus Blue Jackets really add a little bit more. Um, it's a dual threat, right, between Johnny Hockey and Patrick Lyonet now up front. And you can't just shut one of them down. You have to shut down both. And I think that's going to add a, a different dimension to the Blue Jackets. We really haven't seen since, I know some of you aren't going to like this, since Artemi Panarin left back a couple years ago. Um, this is a destination, I would say Winnipeg and Columbus are the two destinations nobody seemingly wants to go to, right? From the outside perspective. Now, apparently, Goudreau had talked to Cam Atkinson, which I know Flyers fans are going to be upset. Um, but he played in Columbus for a couple seasons before he got traded to the Flyers. And, you know, Cam Atkinson is a good friend of Goudreau, and he had all the praises, sang all the praises of Columbus and what a nice town it is and this and that. So we'll see how this plays out. Overall, uh, I think it's a pretty good fit. You know, overall, Goudreau is going to add some scoring to this team and they become a real threat in that Metropolitan Division. And it makes you wonder if there's a team, whether it's Washington or Pittsburgh, that falls off this coming season. Is Columbus the team that takes their place in the Metropolitan Division? 
So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you think of Johnny Goudreau coming to the Columbus Blue Jackets? He's going to instantly make their power play better. He's going to add more scoring to this team. And to be honest, they have a new identity. And I think that's a huge part of the puzzle. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again next time.